First of all, thank you all for coming. I, I know there was a short bout of rain, so uh, first, thank you for coming on this hot day. Uh, today is a historic day. We, we didn't know it would be historic, so let's hear it for uh, Prop 8 and DOMA. Uh, so one thing is that we're, we're an internet-based campaign. We're, we're a grassroots-based campaign. Uh, we're based in the community. There's a lot of you here from the community, and there's we're also a young campaign. But one of the things that we do is uh, we like to do things a little bit differently. So I'm going to ask everybody to please take out your phones and uh, turn them on. Uh, we have a new trend. The idea isn't that if you have your phones out that you're not paying attention. It's actually you're sharing for those people who can't actually be in this room. So we're going to ask everyone to please uh, tweet. Uh, that's my uh, Twitter name, at Kalos. And uh, your tweets will be coming up. So if I say something that you agree with or something you disagree with, tweet about it. And uh, it'll come up and other people will hear about it. And uh, we're keeping track. So uh, first, please make sure so everyone just start tweeting. Have fun. I want to see a lot of eyes facing down at their phones. <laughs> so first, I want to say thank you to all the folks from the community. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being engaged. And uh, <laughs> thank you, John. It's, and this is one of the fun things. You can be upstaged by, by your own campaign. But we have 127 solutions on our website. And 27 of them came from the community. And they're some of the most brilliant ideas. And that's a changing force, because instead of being told what to do by candidates and elected officials, you're actually able to tell me what to do. So uh, if anyone wants me to make this a shorter speech than normal, that's probably a tweet you want to put up there too. But uh, that's neither here nor there. So I also want to recognize uh, my, my leadership team. I want to bring uh, Jesse and uh, Paul up. So uh, if we can turn that off for a moment. And uh, Jesse, Paul, come on up. Take a round of applause. <laughs> if you want to scooch over. Uh, and I also want to bring up uh, the leadership team. So uh, you're on the leadership team if you spend an extra hour on Mondays uh, meeting and figuring out how to run the team. So uh, please come on up if you're on the leadership team too. And we're going to fill you in that way. Paul, do you mind hopping over there this way? Sarah tonight, tonight. Uh, Sarah's not here. She's our communications director. She does amazing work. And Erin's uh, not standing up here. She's our director of advance, but she's taking video, and now she's not. So Erin, thank you for joining us. Uh, we, we have a, a diverse team. These are, these are the leaders. These are how we're doing things. And uh, where's Sarah Binstock? Come on up. This is your event. I want to thank everyone. Yeah. She put this together. Uh, Sarah, how long have you been with our campaign? Uh, about a month. So in, in a month, she went from just being a regular volunteer to uh, putting this whole event together. So uh, that's the opportunity that people are having on this campaign. Uh, we're creating leaders, we're taking leaders, and allowing them to do the cool things that they want to do. Uh, so let's just uh, give them one more round of applause as a group. Thank you. So. We have an open platform. We alluded to that before. What that means is anyone in this room, anyone on the internet, anyone over Twitter can go online to kalosforcouncil.com. We have 100 solutions that we put up, 27 solutions from the community. You can vote on them. You can comment on them. You can pr propose your own. Uh, we're actually tweeting out our solutions. And it turns out that people around the city are paying attention. And ideas that we proposed last year are already being adopted by the city. Uh, we had an idea to keep houses from being foreclosed. And the city's taking it, and they're implementing it, and they're doing amazing work about it. And they noticed our tweet and said, hey, tell as many people as you can about it. So that's one of the great things about 
having this sort of campaign. Some of the folks in this room, some of the people up here are actually only with us because they found our website, found the cool things that we're doing, and wanted to get involved. Uh, on the internet, I want to say uh, konnichiwa to Japanese TV for uh, stopping by. Yeah. And, uh, In Japan, they had restrictions on electronic communications and campaigns, and uh, I think that having electronic communications are essential for a 21st century campaign and will help them have a better government. So thank you for coming, and I hope we can uh, share as much as we can with our uh, friends and neighbors in Japan. So thank you for coming. I, I want to thank everyone for uh, helping to put together this new office. When we got it, it did not look like this. Uh, and even now, it's, uh, yep. it's a campaign office. <laughs> but uh, we, we did demo. We ripped up the floors. We've scrubbed the floors. We have beautiful murals on the walls. And uh, <laughs> Joe has taken leadership on that. And we want to thank him for getting our office into shape as, long, as well as everybody else who's helped with that. So thank you. So our new sort of campaign, most campaigns make promises and then they don't keep them once we're elected. We've changed the dialogue in politics. We're getting results. I've already gotten results. I put all the legislators' votes online. I cost a bunch of them their jobs. And it turns out a couple of legislators who may even represent this district stopped showing up to work. But because we brought transparency to government, they can't anymore. And now they have to do their jobs. And now some of them have decided maybe they don't want to do their jobs anymore because they have to show up, and that's just not fair. So it's OK. We'd rather have better government and an opponent or two who uh, probably shouldn't be running. But that's neither here nor there. In terms of the accomplishments now that we have, we uh, have Brian. Brian, can you come up? Brian, come Brian. So this is uh, Brian Zimmerman, and uh, when they were going to cut uh, senior centers, uh, Nig uh, uh, Brian worked with me to draft testimony to deliver to the city council about why we shouldn't cut senior centers at NYCHA. So we're actually defending seniors, and we're one of the only ones to be doing that. In fact, I think we were the only city council campaign that showed up to do that. So uh, Brian was there to deliver the testimony. And it's just another example of one of the great things we're able to do because of the amazing groundswell of support we have. So thank you, Brian. I, I want to recognize uh, Anthony, who's already here. Uh, Anthony helped us launch the Bring Back Our Booths campaign. When they started cutting subway service on the Upper East Side by getting rid of our subway booth agents, Anthony ran field and visibility and collected over a thousand signatures to tell the MTA that we want our booths back, we want to feel safe when we're leaving, and we want machines that work and aren't vandalized. And what happened? As of June 6th, it went citywide, and we have mayoral candidates following our lead, following Anthony's lead. So let's give him a round of applause. I want to bring Saul Nadell up. What? Oh. <laughs> uh, on Roosevelt Island, we have Cornell University coming up, if you want to step over there. We have Cornell New York City Tech. It's a uh, partnership with Cornell University and uh, Technion from Israel. And we welcome them. But the one thing we said to them is, if you're going to develop in our district, you need to support the local infrastructure. And so Saul helped draft testimony and delivered testimony before the city council. And in terms of the demands that we were able to make, along with the Roosevelt Island community, we got almost everything we asked for. We got major concessions. And now Cornell New York City Tech is coming to Roosevelt Island, and they're supporting the community in which they're going to be built. And so that's what we think responsible development looks like. So thank you, Saul. Uh, I'm going to bring uh, Joe Strong back up because uh, I think our, our friends at uh, Japanese television will be interested in one of the projects he started and helped us uh, launch. So if you go to Roosevelt Island today, 
Uh, what language can you borrow books in from the New York Public Library? Japanese books. So we created a Japanese language lending library at Roosevelt Island to serve the Japanese community there. So this is just a, a small snippet of the things that we've done as a campaign and what we've accomplished without even getting elected. And we've got a lot more to get done in the next days before the election. And then once we get elected, we're going to be doing a lot more. So we're hoping a lot of you stay on and help with that. So we're a new sort of campaign. I hope a lot of people have been tweeting what we've been talking about. I hope it goes online. And uh, thank you for all of your help, because otherwise we couldn't be doing any of this. And uh, thank you in the community, because we look forward to serving you. Uh, together we can build a better city. Yeah.